Hi, I'm Taylor Van Beber. Four AQHA racing challenge events are featured this Sunday at Will Rogers Downs in Claremore, Oklahoma. Winners of each of these races will be eligible to compete in the Challenge Championships on October 26th at the Downs at Albuquerque. Let's take a look at some of the contenders as we go inside the Challenge Race lineup at Will Rogers. The Juvenile Challenge is for two-year-olds. They'll run 350 yards. Time trials were run on September 8th. Horses with the 10 fastest times made the cut for Sunday's final. Fifth on that list is Relentless, trained by Greg Sanders. This colt is notable as he's already qualified for the Grade 2 Championship by winning the Riadosa Downs Juvenile Challenge on June 2nd. Another qualifier for the Will Rogers Juvenile is Valiant Lotta, a filly conditioned by Alan Hipsha. With Alfredo Triana Jr. aboard, Valiant Lotta led throughout to post the third fastest time of the day. Following the trial, Hipsha said the Phillies' comfort leading up to the final was top priority. Keep her happy. I'm going to take her back to Prairie Meadows where I'm stabled at right now. So take her back up there where it's nice and cool and keep her fresh and keep her happy. Trainer Sammy Valdivia sent out J number seven in the juvenile trials who led from start to finish while becoming the top qualifier for Sunday's final. Jose Vega had the ride. J number seven overtakes Americana. J number seven, smart win under Jose Vega. J number seven is an accomplished runner with a record of four wins from seven outings and earnings of more than $103,000. Valdivia rates the colt along with some of the best he's ever trained. High praise when you consider who tops that list. That's one of the fastest horses, you know. I mean, you know, I had red form. We had some good horses. That's one of the fastest horses I ever had in my life. And uh, I really look forward to him running a good race. The 400-yard Distaff Challenge is for fillies and mares, three years old and older. Among the nominees who may garner some attention, Mystical Jess. Trained by Josue Ponce, this four-year-old has never been out of the money in five racing challenge events. The most recent of those was a second in the 2018 Lone Star Distaff Challenge. In the Will Rogers Downs Derby Challenge at 400 yards, one standout among those nominated is Charlie's Fury from the Michelle Hurdle Training Stable. He's earned $143,000 plus while boasting a record of 3, 3, and 3 from 9 trips to post. His last two outings were an impressive trial victory for the Grade 3 Heritage Place Derby, followed by a third place finish in the final. Race View Network's Inside is sponsored by the American Quarter Horse Association and by the Oklahoma Quarter Horse Racing Association. You're not just my horse, you're my family. I may hold the reins, but you hold my heart. Sunday's 870 yard distance challenge at Will Rogers may be the most competitive race of the day. Included in the nominations list is last year's winner, Rockabilly. Trained by Tammy K. Johnson, this six-year-old has run in challenge events at four different tracks, including Albuquerque, where he won the 2017 Distance Challenge. Also nominated is the winner of the Grade 3 Remington Distance Challenge, Ms. Esther. Owned and trained by Jordan Bowman, this lightly raced five-year-old mare has won six of 11 races while bankrolling upwards of $106,000. Oklahoma Quarter Horse Racing Association encourages the breeding and ownership of Oklahoma bred horses, promotes and protects racing opportunities in the state, and represents our members' interest at the state capitol. Learn more at OQHRA.com. Raceview Network's Inside is sponsored by the Oklahoma Quarter Horse Racing Association and by American Quarter Horse Association. It's a lively card on Sunday at Will Rogers. Four racing challenge events, plus the Black Gold Championship Futurity. Check out another edition of Inside for a look at that $252,000 race. I'm Taylor Van Beber for Raceview Networks Inside. <laughs>